Dear students, under the topic Linear Differential Equation with Variable Coefficients, we are going to solve the first problem. The question is, solve the equation x square d square y by dx square minus 7x dy by dx plus 12y is equal to x square. Now, if we observe here, the coefficients of d square y by dx square and dy by dx are variables. That is, here the coefficient is x square and here the coefficient is minus 7x, which are variables. And therefore, this is a linear differential equation with variable coefficients. So, the method of solving such an equation is as follows. The first step is we have to make a substitution. That is, we have to put x is equal to e to the power z. So that we can convert this equation into a linear differential equation with constant coefficients. Let us see how we are going to do that. So for that reason, we are making a substitution of x equal to e power z. And from this, if you see, if we take logarithm on both the sides, so I'll show that here in the rough. So if you take logarithm on both the sides, we will have log x to be equal to log e to the power z. And so therefore, log x will be equal to, we know that log e power z can be written as z log e. But the val what is the value of log e? It is equal to 1. So therefore, log x is equal to z multiplied with 1, so z. So therefore, we have obtained z to be equal to log x. So we made a substitution of x is equal to e power z and we have obtained z to be equal to log x. Now, making use of these two, we are going to solve the given linear differential equation. And we also need to remember here that since we have made a substitution, here, x into dy by dx will be equal to capital dy. So, this can be represented as capital dy. And x square d square y by dx square is equal to d multiplied with d minus 1 of y. So, this also we can make a substitution. How we have obtained these two is in the theory part of linear differential equation with variable coefficients. You may refer it and remember these two. Therefore, because we have where this z, that is we have made, uh, we have taken x to be equal to e plus z, where this uh, d capital D, okay, this capital T is equal to d by dz. Okay, now making use of all this, we shall take and substitute dy instead of x dy by dx over here. And d multiplied with d minus 1 of y at the place of x squared uh, d square y by dx square. So, let us substitute here. So, having these substitutions in our mind, first we shall replace x squared d square y by dx square as capital D. So, the given equation becomes capital D multiplied with d minus 1 of y and then minus 7. Now, instead of x dy by dx, we can replace it by capital dy. So, dy and this remains the same that is plus 12y is equal to and what about x square? We have taken the substitution of x as e to the power z. So, from this, what will be x square? It will be equal to e plus z, the whole square. And so, that will be equal to e to the power. Multiplying these two, it becomes 2z. So, x square can be replaced as e to the power 2z. Now, when we simplify this, we can um, write this as d square y minus dy minus 7dy plus 12y is equal to e to the power 2z. Now, um, from this we obtain d square y. What is minus dy minus 7dy? It becomes minus 8dy plus 12y. 
is equal to e to the power 2z. Now we can take y common over here and we get d square minus 8d plus 12 of y is equal to e to the power 2z. So now if we see we have obtained a linear differential equation with constant coefficients. So by making this substitution we have converted the given equation uh, with constant coefficients. Now we can solve this by the usual method of solving linear differential equations with constant coefficients. So we have already learned the method of solving linear differential equation with constant coefficients. So what we have to do? We have to first find the auxiliary equation using which we will be finding the complementary function and since the right hand side over here is not 0, we will be finding the particular integral and then the final solution will be y equal to adding up the complementary function and the particular integral. So these are the steps involved. So let us see one by one. First we shall write the auxiliary equation of this differential equation. So in order to write the auxiliary equation, we have to replace d as m over here. So it will be m square minus 8m plus 12 and to be equated to 0. So this is equal to 0. Now we have to find the roots of this equation. So here we have the coefficient as 1. 1 multiplied with 12 is 12. So we have to apply the Hill method. So we have to write the factors for 12 which will give us minus 8. So we know that 6 2 times is 12 and when added up 6 plus 2 is 8 but we need minus 8 and so if we take both as minus 2 minus 6 minus 2 gives us minus 8 and so therefore the factors are um, factors for 12 are minus 6 and minus 2 that we are going to select. So it will be m minus 6 multiplied with m minus 2 equal to 0. Will, these will be the factors for this quadratic equation. And so the values of m will be equal to m minus 2 equal to 0 gives us 2 and m minus 6 equal to 0 gives us the value of m as 6. So we have got the roots which are 2 and 6 and we see that these two roots are distinct roots. So whenever the roots are distinct the complementary function is given by whenever we take that is if we have root 2 distinct roots we take it as m1 and m2. So the complementary function is given by a e to the power m1 x plus b e to the power m2 x. Now here the value of m1 is 2 and so the complementary function will be a e power 2 x plus b e to the power the value of m2 is 6. So 6 x. So this is the complementary function. Next we have to find the particular integral. We see that the right hand side is an exponential function. And so the particular integral is given by 1 by f of d e to the power a z. So for we have to find the particular integral in this manner. Now here we have to substitute d as a. And so that will be actually 1 by f of a e to the power a z. So first we shall write this f of d. So 1 by what is f of d? In our given differential equation, that is the differential equation that we have found, this is taken as the function f of d. So, it will be d square minus 8d plus 12 multiplied with e to the power, the right hand side, that is here we have e to the power 2z. And so, the right hand side we have to write it right as e to the power 2z. So, now the next step is we have to put d is equal to a that is we have to replace d by a and we check we have to check whether the denominator exists so what we will get is so this will be equal to 1 by what is the value of a we observe that we have e to the power 2 is z and so the value of a is equal to 2 so if we substitute d as 2 we get 2 square minus 8 multiplied with 2 plus 12 into e to the power 2 is z so we will be getting this as, so that's equal to 1 by, what is 2 square? It is 4. So 4 minus 8, 2 times is 16 plus 12 multiplied with e to the power 2 is z. But we see that we get this as 1 by 0 e to the power 2 is z. The denominator is becoming 0 because 12 plus 4 is 16, 16 minus 16 is 0. So since the denominator becomes 0, now this cannot be the particular integral. 
so what will be the particular integral in this case it will change as particular integral will be equal to z divided by f dash of d multiplied with e to the power a z so that will be equal to what is z uh, we have to it's a it's the variable that is z divided by what is f dash of d we know that f of d is taken as d square minus 8d plus 12 so f dash of d will be the differentiation of this that is what is the differentiation of d square it is 2d and differentiation of minus 8d is minus 8 and so it will be z divided by 2d minus 8 multiplied with e to the power in uh, here e to the power a z is e to the power 2 z now again we have to do the same that is we have to replace d by a so here d, uh, d is equal to 2 so it will be z divided by 2 multiplied with 2 minus 8 multiplied with e to the power 2 z and so that will be equal to z divided by 4 minus 8 e to the power 2 z and so we get that's equal to z divided by 4 minus 8 is minus 4 e to the power 2 z and so therefore the particular integral that we have obtained is equal to uh, we can also make the substitution that is what is e to the power 2 z here if you see we made the substitution of x is equal to e power z so e power 2 z is what it is x square so we can replace e power 2 z as x square and what about z z is log x so if you see the value of z is equal to log x so we will replace z as log x and e power 2 z as x square in this particular integral and so we get this as log x divided by minus 4 and e power 2 z is x square so therefore the particular integral is minus log x by 4 multiplied with x square now we shall substitute the complementary function and the particular integral in order to find the general solution so therefore the general solution is given by y is equal to complementary function plus the particular integral and what is the complementary function that we have previously obtained it is a e to the power 2x plus b e to the power 6x so we shall substitute that a e to the power 2x plus b e to the power 6x plus the particular integral is minus we will write this x square in the front so x squared by 4 log x so this is the solution that we have obtained and we also see that the complementary function is a e to the power 2 z this should be and here plus b e to the power 6 z because we have changed the variables so 2 z and 6 z and so therefore finally here also we will have 2 z and 6 z and what is e to the power we know that x is equal to e power z and so we had e to the power 2 z to be equal to x square in a similar manner e to the power 6 z can be written as e power z the whole power 6 so e power z the whole power 6 but what is e power z it is uh, x so it will be x to the power 6 so therefore the general solution will be y is equal to a here you will have x to x square plus b multiplied with here you will have x to the power 6 minus x square by 4 log x so remember this very carefully you have to make the substitution now this complementary function is for z that's why we have written z over here and then changed the variable as x with the help of the substitution that we have done before so hope you have understood this problem in our next video we shall learn problem 2 under the same topic thank you